Today we are making some quick and easy vegan burger patties from scratch. And these are super satisfying and should be ready in 30 minutes or less and we can even make them gluten free. So let's get it going. Now the base of this recipe is our good old friend TVP aka textured vegetable protein. This bag is pretty cheap at six bucks. We only need one cup of the TVP as well and since it's dehydrated, we need to soak it. And all we need to do is get it into a bowl along with one cup of vegan beef broth or veggie broth. Oh, and a little tip here, if you're mixing up the bouillon, add less water than you're gonna use. This makes it easier to blend and it's less messy. And then just add in the rest of the water and get that in the bowl with the TVP and we just need to let that soak for about 10 minutes. And while that's happening, we can prepare the meaty marinade. And I'm gonna be using the usual suspects for this, but if you can't find all of these, you can totally just sub with something else. Like if you can't find the vegan Worcestershire, you can totally use some steak sauce. Can't find the mushroom powder? Well, just use more nooch and salt. I'll leave links for all the less common ingredients in the description. Also, you can always make a test meatball to see if the seasoning is where you want it. So just season this as you see fit. But for mine, we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and then two tablespoons of the mushroom seasoning. Then one teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. Next, we'll do a quarter cup of vegan mayo. You could also use oil, I believe. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce and one tablespoon of blackstrap molasses. Then one teaspoon of vegan what's this here sauce, one teaspoon of gravy master, which is optional, half a teaspoon of liquid smoke, and then two tablespoons of ground flask. Whisk that to combine like so. And now by this time, the TVP should be all nice and hydrated and look something like that. So next let's dump in our marinade and then mix that together thoroughly. And now we can add in our binders. First up is 30 grams or about a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And to make it gluten-free, just use an all-purpose gluten-free flour such as this. Either way, we wanna mix that up. And then for our last binder, we're gonna get some breadcrumbs to make that gluten-free. You just gotta get gluten-free breadcrumbs or some oats. I would recommend pulsing them in a food processor or blender into smaller bits as well. But I started with half a cup or 70 grams worth and then I realized that was not gonna be nearly enough. So I doubled it and added another half cup and that worked out perfectly. And to test out the binding, I like to form a little patty and then toss it from hand to hand. If it keeps its shape and doesn't fall apart, I know they are good to go. And now, like I said before, I recommend testing out a little meatball to see if the seasoning is good. If not, add whatever you think is missing. Oh, and by the way, yes, you can totally make meatballs with this recipe. Now to form our patties, you have a few options. First, I recommend weighing out about three to four ounces worth. If you go down to two ounce patties, they will be a bit fragile, so be careful with them. And to form a patty, you can simply smash it like so, or you can use a cookie cutter and shape it inside to get a perfectly uniform patty as well. You can also coat the patty in some more breadcrumbs. This is something they do at Burger Lords here in LA, and it'll give the cooked burger a crispier exterior too. But this recipe makes about 20 ounces of meat, so you can get about five to six burger patties out of it. And now that we have our patties formed, we can get to grilling them. And I do recommend adding a bit of oil to the pan to get them nice and brown, seeing as they don't have a ton of fat in them. I'm gonna cook mine for about three minutes per side, melt some vegan cheese on it as I do, and for the first one, I'm gonna make a three ounce patty in the classic simple cheeseburger style. Now these burgers are tasty and savory. They aren't like Beyond or Impossible, however, but they are super good on their own. They've got some good chew and they don't get mushy. As you can see here, they hold their shape all the way through into the last bite. They really do taste more like an old school veggie burger to me than the new school. So if that's more your speed, then you'll definitely dig these. And yes, you can grill them on the barbecue though. I would brush them with some oil. Like even the new school of vegan burgers, these can get dried out easily on the barbecue grill. So I do think they do better indoors on a well-oiled pan. But if you wanna use these to make a vegan double-double like In-N-Out, such as the burger right here, check out my In-N-Out video, and until then, I'll see you all next time.